Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. In the headlines today, tour of Cutter, stage two, massive pileup in the finishing straightaway. Uh, that is an all too common theme in professional cycling. Why it is, there's many reasons. Riders in the sprint giving it everything at their absolute limit, bike handling skills, maybe not as sharp as they should be for a lot of guys that are trying to win the stage. And also, you cannot give an inch and expect to win a sprint stage of any international bike race. In Cutter, something a little bit more sinister, however, disrupting the finishing sprint. The rider sprinting to the line on the right-hand side of the highway, divided highway with a median. So all the riders up against the median in a mad dash to the finish line. And just a few hundred meters before the line, the median came to an end at an intersection. So all the riders that were trying to fight to get to the front suddenly had an opening. They went into the median, but when they, into the intersection, excuse me, but when the median started up again at the end of the intersection, they all had to dive back into the field. Well, guess what? The riders that are sprinting are still there. Their bodies are still there. That's why you couldn't move up in the first place. Chaos ensues, massive pile up, and the current rule, and this is something that was preventable by the UCI. The current rule says that race promoters need to have barriers up for 300 meters before the finish line. That's what they're required to do. But I'm asking the UCI to change that to three kilometers. Now three kilometers of barriers, that's a lot, but these are international professional bike races with the best riders on the planet. It's not just a Tour de France. The season goes from January basically all the way to November. And so instead of 300 meters having barriers up, how about three kilometers? And so that the sprinters know just how much room they have to work with throughout the entirety of the sprint. And believe me, the final three kilometers of any professional uh, bicycle race is an absolutely hair-raising experience. It's pretty terrifying to be in the middle of that. And so when you see riders taking every advantage that they can, and if there's a gap in the median, there's a gap in the sprinting straightaway, they're going to rush in and try to improve their position. So having barriers up for three kilometers would go a long way in preventing a crash like we saw in stage number two of the Tour of Cutter. UCI, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, please, please take my advice on these videos. I don't know if you're listening, but uh, uh, if you are, please feel free to extend the required barriers for three kilometers. And everybody, please feel free to comment. I love reading the comments and subscribe if you feel like it.